Do you want to install MIUI 10 based on Android 9.0 Pi on your OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 6T device? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And guess what? You can now install MIUI 10 based on Android 9.0 Pi on your OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 60 device. All credit for this goes to XDM member Proto Dev Nano. I have linked his thread in the description of the video, which is where you will find the latest status as to what is working and what is not working. As for this initial port, a lot of things are working. As you can see, always on display is working absolutely fine. If I go ahead and try to unlock it, live wallpapers are working absolutely fine. Your themes, wallpapers, always on display, working absolutely fine. Other than that, you have your full screen gestures from Xiaomi, which are working absolutely fine. Xiaomi Mi AI is working. Now, one thing to note is that this is a brom port which does not have your google chrome or google play store installed out of the box so you'll have to download the apks and install them once you install them they work absolutely fine wi-fi is working as for the camera the rom does not come with an inbuilt camera app because the miui camera is not working as of now but you can go ahead and side load either oxygen os camera or a google camera port which is working absolutely fine for me Coming to what is not working, your in-display fingerprint scanner is not working as of now, but the dude on XTA who owns the OnePlus 6T is trying to fix it. Your alert slider is not working. I'm not sure if they can fix it or not, but I'm not a pro at this. Other than that, I suggest you keep an eye out on the thread on XTA developers to get the status of what is working and what is not working because the ROM port is pretty stable for an initial build. As for your benchmark score, this is the benchmark score which I got, so pretty impressive for an initial port. Now without any further delay, let's go ahead and see how you can install MIUI 10 based on Android 9.0 Pi on your OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 6T. Do note, you need an unlocked bootloader and this process will factory reset your device. So make sure you've backed up your pictures, data and anything important. So what are the things which we need? You need the MIUI 10 port for your OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 6T. Then you need the latest ADB and fast boot, and you also need the TWRP recovery for your OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 6T. All these files are linked in the description of the video. This guy, the latest version, I suggest you go ahead and check the thread as well. Once you've downloaded these files, go ahead and place them inside one folder. And next thing, go ahead and extract the MIUI 10 based on Android 9.0 Pi for OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 6T, and you will have this new folder. Go inside the folder, and you will have all the files which you need. Next thing I suggest is you go ahead and rename this crash fix for NFC file to remove all the spaces. So I just added the underscores. Going back onto the main folder. Next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and move the twerp recovery to the platform tools folder. So if I now go inside the platform tools folder, I have ADB here. I have my twerp recovery here and I have fast boot over here. Another thing I suggest doing is go ahead and rename the MIUI 10 Pi for OnePlus 6 folder, we'll go ahead and rename it to MIUI 10 hyphen Pi. We're doing this because spaces in the name sometimes cause issues on Linux and Mac machines. Moving over to the phone, I suggest you go ahead, go into settings, and then you go into security and lock screen. Once you're in there, remove any screen lock, lock preferences, any fingerprint, any face unlock data you have set up because we're going from Oxygen OS to MIUI 10 and I don't want you peeps to be locked out of your phone and then have to you know do a factory reset and all those things just avoiding any complications next go back go into accounts and make sure you remove any google account or any oneplus account which you have set up over here as well again the issue is the same once that is done go ahead and power off your device once your device is powered off press and hold the volume up the volume down and the power button at the same time until you boot into fast boot mode. Once you boot into fast boot mode, go ahead and connect your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Once you've connected your phone to the computer after it is booted into fast boot mode, Windows users can go ahead, go to the folder where we have MIUI 10 based on Android 9.0 Pi. Now, if you have the OnePlus 6, you'll use the OnePlus 6 flasher 
windows batch file and if you have the 60 you will use the 60 flasher batch file go ahead double click on them and your process will start you have other files over here as well which is the no format ones those you can use to update your miui 10 once the original author pushes out updates do not do not use the ota on the phone if you get a notification for the ota do not download it you might break your device if you have any issues with the files not flashing using fast boot that means you do not have the drivers for oneplus installed i have linked the drivers in the description of the video go ahead download and install them and then try one more time now if you are a mac or linux user you need to go ahead and open terminal and navigate to the folder where we have the shell script files to install miui 10 based on android 9.0 pi on a oneplus 6 or oneplus 60 the first command you need to execute is go ahead and make sure that you give the file executable permissions you're going to choose the file for your device so if you are using the oneplus 6 you'll go ahead and use this file if you're on a oneplus 60 you'll go ahead and use this guy if you're installing miui 10 on your oneplus 6 or 60 for the first time you have to use the flasher linux files after that, you can go ahead and use the no format data shell scripts. Again, you will have to give them executable permissions. The command for that is sudo chmod777 and then the name of the file. Once you've entered the command, go ahead and press enter. It will ask for your password. Go ahead, enter your password and press enter. And there it is. We successfully given executable permissions to the shell script files. The next command we're going to execute is to go ahead and start the flashing process. So dot slash and name of the shell script file which we're going to use oneplus 60 users will use the oneplus 60 file and oneplus 6 users will use the oneplus 6 file once you've entered the command go ahead and press enter and there it is as you can see it is now flashing the system partition which will be followed by the other partitions as well once the flashing process has successfully completed we need to go ahead and boot into to up recovery now to do that you need to go to the platform tools folder so we are inside our main folder where we have platform tools i'll go ahead and double click on this guy windows users can go ahead go to this folder in windows explorer hold down the shift key right click and you will get an option to open command prompt here or open terminal here you can go ahead and use whatever you are comfortable with mac and linux users need to open terminal and navigate to this folder once you are in terminal powershell or command prompt you need to boot into to app recovery the command for that is fast boot boot and name of the image file terminal and powershell users need to enter dot slash before the command command prompt users can go ahead and ignore the dot slash once you've entered the command go ahead and press enter and at this point our one plus six or one plus sixty will boot into to app recovery and it will also show up as a storage device on a computer once it shows up as a storage device on your computer you need to go ahead and transfer the nfc fix zip file to the internal memory of the phone and once that is done you can go ahead and disconnect your phone from the computer back on the to up recovery home screen swipe to allow the modifications once that is done go ahead and click on mount and then go ahead and make sure that you mount the window once that mark is checked go ahead and click on the back button now go ahead click on install and we need to select the file nfc crash fix which we have transferred to our phone swipe to confirm the flash once the flash is done go ahead and click on reboot system and bam there we have it memix boot animation because this is a rom port from the memix 3 android 9.0 pi based on miui 10 running on your oneplus 60 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is that's it for this video youtube i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you